Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to go through a lesson in prime factors. We often get calls or contact from our students asking for support, and this is one way that we provide that support. We can create custom videos to help answer any queries our students may have. Hope you enjoy. Any questions, let us know. This is Study Hat. Learning for life. Hi, thank you for contacting me through Study Hat. Um, just before we start doing some of the questions on the quiz on Study Hat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you with some definitions, things that you really need to know before you can actually try and attempt. For example, the question, what is the prime factorisation of 17? So let's look at the word factor and what does it mean? So it factors a whole number and it will divide exactly into another whole number. So 3 is a factor of 12 because 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 is a factor of 12 because 12 divided by 4 is 3. And 2 and 6 are factors of 12 as well. 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 12 divided by 6 is 2. Now you're probably thinking, well, how come, how is 2 a prime number? It's, it's a prime number because it can only be divided by itself and the number 1. So that's, and that's the only even number in prime numbers that is a prime number. So all the other odd numbers are not prime numbers. And that's really, really important to know. So let's have a look at what prime numbers are. Prime numbers are actually quite awkward, really. They're like ones like the number 11, number 17, 23. And they're prime numbers because they don't break up into smaller equal groups. You won't find them in the answers to your multiplication tables. And I would really emphasise, to help you with prime numbers, it's really important that you actually know your multiplication times tables as well. Now, the numbers will only divide exactly by themselves and 1. So examples of prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 and 29. Now 9 is not a prime number because it will split equally into three groups of 3. So 3 times 3 equals 9. 11 is a prime number because you try to split it into equal groups and you always have something left over. You can only have one group of 11 or 11 times 1 which is 11. Now 1 is not counted as a prime number and it's seen as a bit of a special case because you can only multiply 1 by 1 and you get the answer 1. Now we also really need to understand what the word factorise means. So it says if, if you factorise a number you break it down into its factors. So for example, let me just give you a couple of examples. The number 18 is 2 times 9 which is 18 but you can actually break that down a little bit further which is 2 times 3 times 3. So the prime factors of 18 are 2, 3 and 3. Let's just have a look at another number. Um, let's go for the number 30. Think of two numbers that when you divide them together will give you 30. That's right, 2 times 15. And then we try and break that down a little bit more so we can think 2 times 3 times 5 will give you 30. The prime factors of 30 are 2, 3 and 5. So this will help you. If you are trying to look for an answer, what are the prime numbers, you know that if there's any numbers other than the number 2, so all the other even numbers, you know that they can't be um, prime numbers at all. Right, let's just go on to question 6 of the quiz on study hat. The question says, what is a prime factorization of 17 and it says choose only one best answer now the thing that I would say in order to help you is we're looking for all the numbers that when you multiply them you get the number you get the answer as 17 so what we would do is we, we can go down just to check so we should know what 3 times 3 is it's 9 1 times 17 is 17 4 times 3 times 4 now, A and B, we actually had prime numbers. In C, we've actually got 4 times 3 times 4. Now, we know that that cannot be prime factorization because you've got 4 and you've got 4. 
They are even numbers and they're not prime numbers. And then in D we've got 1 times 9 times 3. So 1 times 9 is 9 times by 3 is 27. So I wonder which one you think the answer would be. I'm just going to stop the video a second. Right, hopefully you thought the answer was B. 1 times 17 would give us would give us sorry 17 let's just let's just choose this one and let's confirm it and see what it says it says the answer is correct and let's just go on to the next one it says what is the prime factorization of 68 what you can do here is you can actually eliminate sometimes anything with an odd number okay sorry anything with an even number you could eliminate Right, let's just have a look at 8. It says 3 times 2 is 6, times by 17. So we can work out what 3 times 2 times 17 is. 3 times 2 is 6, times by 17. So we've worked out what 3 times 2 times 17 is, and it's 102. Question again, what's the prime factorization of 68? B says 1 times 68, well the answer is 68. C says 4 times 17, the answer is 68. And then D says 2 times 2 times 17. With factorisation, what I've learned over the years is that the more numbers you have, which are prime numbers, that would be the prime factorisation of 68. So D is 2 times 2, which is 4, times by 17, gives you 68. Let's have a look select that let's confirm that and yes we are right let's go on to the next one it says what is the prime factorization of 330 so let's just have a look we've got 2 times 3 times 5 times by 11 we've got that we've got 3 times 55 we've got 330 times 1 and we've got 55 times 6 I'm just going to stop the video here and I want you to have a go at doing this and then we'll come back. So we're looking for the prime factorization of 330. Just to do things slightly differently, I'm going to start from D and hopefully we're going to choose only the best answer or one of the best answers. So 56, sorry, 55 times by 6. Hopefully you've had a go at it and managed to work out that that is 330. C is 330 times by 1. That is 330. 3 times 55, the answer is 165, so it can't be that one. And let's look at A. 2 times 3 times 5 times 11. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30. And 30 times by 11 gives you 330. Now if you'd written or you'd answered, or oh, it's C or it's D, just remember I said to you that in terms of prime factorization, we're looking as many for as many prime numbers as possible, and that gives us the best answer. Let's just have a look at that. Let's say it's A, and let's just confirm that answer. And the answer is correct. Right, let's go on to number nine. Number nine says, what is the prime factorization of 210? Again, I want you to have a look at that. I want you to try and have a go at it. And I will come back to you. Right, let's have a look at this question. It says, what is the prime factorization of 210? Now, as I skim through, or just briefly look at the um, choices that I have. My eyes quickly go to C and D, because 210 times 1, we know it's 210. D, 21 times 10, that's 210. So it can't really be C or D, because they're both the same answers. Let's have a look at A. A is 2 times 3 times 7. 2 times 3 is 6. Times by the 7 is 42. That leaves us with B to work out, see whether or not that comes to 210. It says 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. Well, we know 2 times 3 is 6. Times by 5 is 30. Times by 7, 30 times by 7, is 210. So let's click on B and see whether we are right. Okay, and it says the answer is correct. So we've gone through a few of those um, questions.
Hopefully you've got an idea now about prime factorisation. There's one more question for you to do after this. Um, my advice is, please learn the prime numbers, learn your multiplication times table, understand what factorisation is, and in a nutshell I would say is use as many prime number digits that you can that gets you the actual answer at the end. Um, and yes, I wish you the best of luck on your 11 plus journey. Any more problems and I'm here, you can always um, email us and somebody will get back to you. Okay, take care. If you've got any questions, anything at all, feel free to email us at support at studyhack.com and we'll chat again soon. Thanks all. Bye. Find out more at studyhack.co.uk.